Welcome to a pretty cool lock that I got from Red Cat Imaging. So buddy, thank you very much for the locks that you sent to me. Um, yeah, he sent me actually three locks, uh, two with no sidebar and one with a sidebar, and that's the one with a sidebar. So I think that's model uh, SL33, BKS lock with a sidebar. You can see it from uh, this. It's not a pin, that's actually the the axis around the uh, where around the, the sidebar pins can can turn and you can see it from the red dot here which indicates that this lock is something special and it's something special because of the keyway <laughs> yeah yeah you can see that it's quite paracentric um, if you choose to use a very thin pick and that's a Peterson no not a Peterson it's a Sparrows uh, 15,000 deep euro hook you can pick straight from the top all the way down through the, through the holes of the warding um, but you need to have light tension otherwise you will break the pick but I will go with the uh, thicker Peterson pick uh, number five and this fits in this gap here and I can turn around uh, the warding here turn around this this curve um, the the sidebar is actually not too difficult to pick, it's just um, a couple of pins that you need to push out of the way. Um, but the keyway is really uh, making a lot of trouble. Um, yeah, the lock is pinned with, um, with a lot of master wafers and if there were no master wafers inside, I doubt that I would uh, be able to get it open. So, I don't have a key. Cannot show you the bidding, so let's get started with picking. Um, yeah, I practiced a little bit um, on this lock so that it won't take too long, and I've taken apart the other side so that gutting becomes a little bit quicker. So I apply tension here, uh, turning it uh, counterclockwise, and start picking. Just go in and search for binder yeah, here in the back. Okay, got it out of the way. Six pins in this lock. Okay, there was two. And now three is binding. Another click from three. feel pretty solid. So let's quickly check the sidebar. Only have to push these sidebar pins a little bit. <clears throat> okay, got a bit of a turn on the plug that was counter rotation from one I believe or oh, two I'm not sure now now two is binding got it two came back so three and the cord and a little bit more come out of here let's check the sidebar you only have to push these pins down and no they are okay so I believe the sidebar is okay Oh, that's counter rotation from one. Got it. And let's check the sidebar. So, if you don't know about the sidebar, of course, um, it will be hard to open. But if you do know, you have to check it regularly. Oh, there's counter rotation from and <laughs> from four or five, and now the lock is open. So. As I said, I practiced a little bit and I can tell you that this side is easier than that side. Well, I took the easier side um, just to make the video short. Okay, I have to be careful with um, cutting. Oh, ah, so it doesn't doesn't turn. Oh, sorry, you couldn't see that. Um, okay, here we go. Um, now it's, it's locked in place because 
there were two sidebar grooves and um, now the sidebar has engaged with the other groove. You just have to hold it under a little bit of pressure and uh, brush over the sidebar and that's all it takes to, uh, to pick the sidebar. <laughs> all right, I think the sidebar is more for uh, key control. Now let me get off the clip. driver of six and now I would be happy to get this plug out okay I pushed down the needle a little bit so that the pin didn't catch anymore and I've just <laughs> turned the plug and the key pins almost fell out um, okay I will see that I can secure the the drivers with my follower. Uh, okay, I should get the spring out before I tear it apart. So that's the poorly mangled spring. Okay, so now the drivers are more or less secure. Okay, I can now remove the pinning shoe. Yeah, I can feel the spring tension here. Okay, I will see that I can get the plug back in working order. So, um, yeah, we've got the plug and there is one master wafer fallen out. Um, let me see that this one, two, three, four. There was a master wafer in four, I believe. Five. Oh, that's the sidebar, by the way. Five and six. Okay, here we go with six. Um, okay. All right. Where's this master wave gone? Uh, yeah, it's at four. So I think that's. Oh, let me check the. <coughs> uh, um, the gutting here, the guts of the other. So it was at four. So here's here's four with the other master wafer. <clears throat> so let's have a close look to the plug first. Um, we can see the chambers of the uh, for the key pins, and here is the the sidebar. Here are the sidebar uh, pins, so to say. Um, they can turn around this axis here. And they are spring loaded, so we can see the little springs in here. And I can't take this apart um, because I would need to pull out this um, this pin or this rod. <clears throat> and and here is the sidebar. Um, if you insert the sidebar, okay. Uh, if sidebar is put inside without having the um, the pin set to the right um, depth, we can see that it sticks out. And here only one of the uh, four sidebar pins need to be set to the right depth. And you have seen the, the groove here on, on number four. And if you set it to the right depth, we can see that it's now uh, flush and the plug can turn. Um, I think the sidebar is actually more for, for key control than for um, uh, yeah for anything else. So not um, more than one state here and uh, only in this particular case only one uh, sidebar uh, pin that needs to be picked. Um, get this out. I can show you how these these pins um, move when you <laughs> when you pick them. And if you apply tension and if you manage to find number four like so, um, the sidebar will drop down and uh, and that's it. So 
not really a big deal, but of course you need to um, you need to know that there is a sidebar, um, and you need to pick it. All right, that was the sidebar part. Um, now let's continue with the pins. Uh, we can see all uh, standard key pins, and now let me get out the drivers. And yeah, you have seen a lot of um, uh, master wafers. So we've got a small or short spool in one, same in two, uh, nice springs, standard in three, standard in four, oops, and a longer spool in five, and six is already out. So let's appreciate the nice pins in the very nice pinning tray, 314, with this uh, wafer driver here as, as a one. Very nice. So here is the pinning. A lot of mass. Oh, today gutting is not the smoothest. <laughs> you can see a lot of master wafers in here, and that's uh, what makes this lock. Um, to pick not too difficult. Um, maybe I will try to pick it um, again with no master wafers. I think that's much more of a challenge. But even um, this lock appeared to be um, easy to pick, or it is easy to pick when you get used to it. When you encounter this lock the first time and you uh, mess around with uh, different picks and so on, it's really tricky. Uh, yeah, so I'm really thankful to Tom that uh, he sent this lock to me because it was quite a fun thing to, to learn to pick it. Um, yeah, you can, you can pick it with a very thin uh, pick here, but because of the many master wafers, um, it's also possible to use this thick pick and to work around that curve here, so I can now then therewith apply much more pressure and it's much easier to get feedback and, and so on and so forth. Yeah, so that's it. <laughs> I hope you uh, found this interesting and enjoyable. Um, next time I will try to make a smoother gutting. <laughs> yeah, Tom, thanks again for a great luck and everybody else. Thank you very much for watching. Happy picking and bye bye.